However, the Koreans approached their audience much more carefully than the Chinese, creating neat and inexpensive cars, which, at least, do not make you feel sick or sick. One of these creations was the second-generation Kia Rio, presented for a treat in 2005. A modest price tag was hung on the car generously seasoned with affordable equipment and presented in a symbolic, for us, bright orange color. The menu included the most popular sedan and hatchback bodies, which looked pretty fresh for their time. Restyling in 2009 took place under the guidance of a well-known German designer who adorned the pretty face of the model with the now popular Tiger Mouth. For six years of production, the compact, economical and at the same time roomy Rio has proved that it can serve faithfully not only the first and second, but even the third owner without intensive extortion of funds. However, the carrot shabby by the previous owner will still require small investments, since this salad could not do without garlic and peppercorns. In general, everything is according to a traditional Korean recipe. Exploiting Rio, you will have to take into account some features, otherwise the following antics will not give you rest. For example, the most common G4E engine, 1.4 liters, became famous for its floating speed. Moreover, sometimes at idle, the tachometer can give out 2,500 RPM. Sometimes the engine refuses to start until you press the gas pedal, and after the first signs of life, for some time you have to listen to the sounds of uneven operation of the unit. In 90% of cases, the source of such whims is the brains of the car, so the new firmware, for a long time, if not forever, calms the rampant speed. Unfortunately, not everyone goes through the process like clockwork. There were cases when new software refused to be loaded into the computer, forcing the unit to be replaced. It is impossible to get past the owner's complaints about difficult starts in the winter cold, below Dash 25. Both a weak native battery and a starter freezing in the cold could give up positions. In addition, you will often have to monitor the level of antifreeze, which, in the event of a leak, most likely found a loophole in the radiator. Otherwise, the G4E motor showed its best side. All consumables, with the exception of the timing belt, change independently without any problems. The same applies to the 1.6-liter G4E D engine, which is very rare but more reliable. Complaints here arise, perhaps, on the ignition coils. No global problems were found with the mechanical transmission. A rare owner changed the input shaft seals. It's hard to call the clutch tenacious. By 50,000 kilometers, the rumble of the release bearing may be heard, and worn clutches will smell after another period of time. The four-speed automatic is less whimsical, but those who forget about the need for periodic maintenance more often and stronger than others feel kicks when switching to second gear. For a surprisingly long time, CB joints of drives live in a car. The frankly stiff suspension of the hero of our review receives positive feedback only from fans of cool, storming turns. The rest, especially summer residents, prefer to acquire a slightly softer, non-original at the first replacement of the racks. This happens in the case of rear shock absorbers at about 50,000 kilometers. Do not rush to replace when the first knocks appear, as the source of noise can be either a worn bump stop or a plastic boot. A sort of disease in Rio is a rattling rear suspension although the design uses a conventional beam. In front, the stabilizer struts 30 to 50,000 kilometers, and wheel bearings 80 to 100,000 kilometers turned out to be the bottleneck. Shock absorbers and bearings included in the McPherson design will last twice as long. You can think about a major overhaul with the replacement of silent blocks if the car has known about 200,000 kilometers of average Russian roads. The steering part from the rack to the tips turned out to be quite hardy. But the peppercorn lurked a little higher, in the area of the Euro, where the obsessive knock is ready to leave the cabin only after abundant lubrication of the spline connection. Rio's uncomplicated grey interior is sure to yawn for those who just look at it. However, those who constantly move among this mass of rough plastic do not always feel alone. In addition to crickets and barrels in the panel, a poltergeist can also accompany the driver. Otherwise, it is probably impossible to explain the occurring glitches of the climate control, which, after a long stop, is able to meet the driver with an invigorating stream of cold air in the face. Then, of course, everything returns to normal, but the feeling of a ghost hunter remains for a long time. Easily scratched plastic was also fragile. So, some managed to accidentally press the climate control unit into the inside of the panel. In general, there may be more items for disappointment in the cabin. 
This also includes cases of failure of the heated rear window. The advantage of a sedan over a hatchback lies not only in the difference in trunk volume. It turns out that five-door versions of the Rio have a little more problems. For example, the rear window washer fluid may leak onto the floor near the right sill. In this case, the flown branch pipe will simply need to be returned to its place. Lay and roll sometimes requires a rear seat mount, the voice of which can be confused with the sounds of the suspension. The quality of metal protection against corrosion, however, as well as the durability of the paintwork, is marked as average. First of all, door handles and other small plastic parts are skin. Chips and scratches on the body are formed quite easily, but the paintwork is not going to bloom and bubble after that for a long time. There were cases when small pockets of corrosion were caught on the front doors at the point of contact with the seal. Let Kia Rio in operation is far from ideal, but still you should not be afraid of used options. The most important thing is to check the selected car for major accidents. The quality of the Korean and Russian assembly does not differ much. And here and there atypical breakdowns are very rare. Maintenance costs with proper care will be budgetary. Spare parts are inexpensive and the search is not complicated by anything. Some parts can be picked up from Hyundai Verna and Hyundai Gets. In the hijacking rankings, Rio has always been an underdog. Thieves are rarely interested in both the machine as a whole and its individual elements. One way or another, in the regular version, this car is quite easy prey.